Two years ago, I proposed to Sarah Dici. I made a video about it. It was kind of a big deal. Lots of excitement in the world at the time. And right around that time, this crazy thing happened to the planet. It was as if a pandemic took over and made life for everyone a lot more difficult. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. Every time we let our guard down for a second, a new wave of something would come and kind of destroy the entire plan. Tonight, COVID cases are up as the BA5 variant spreads like wildfire. Now, in the grand scheme of everything happening in the universe, Obviously, the, the wedding wasn't the most important thing. It was the world trying to survive together in this wild thing. Uh, and, you know, we, we kind of lost focus of the wedding. And honestly, we struggled to come up with an idea that we were both excited about because we had the traditional idea of having your whole family come to the church and do this thing. And honestly, not only am I not a very traditional person, but neither is Sarah. And to me, it, I just, I, that just didn't seem fun. Sarah, my fiance, has been watching this uh, YouTube channel called How to Renovate a Chateau. It's this family in Normandy, France, who are rebuilding a chateau that they bought. They made a whole video about this, so I'm not saying anything that I shouldn't say, but I think they bought this place for like $800,000 renovated it and it's an entire chateau it's like a mini castle that they own bought renovated it's beautiful we realized it just seemed like the perfect thing to do to go to france to get married and of course we had to keep it very small just the perfect case scenario My dad actually was the aficionado, the officiator. He officiated the wedding. A fish. He crushed his job. Sarah and I did vows, and I'm not showing the entire epic montage, which is probably something I would normally do, but I think Sarah is gonna do the video that's very pretty. It was her editor who actually went out there, Kyle, who helped film everything. Our photographer was amazing. We kept the entire event extremely small, and the wedding felt like it was over in like that. It felt like it was over in like, three minutes, which I think it was. All this planning, all this, it still was not cheap at all. We had to pay for all these fancy meals and me being vegan, of course, uh, added a lot of drama in France of trying to find vegan meals, but it worked out and it was amazing. And this guy, Salal, that helped us and, and it just all around, there were, there were so many, uh, so many good people. So yes, Sarah and I are officially husband and wife. We have been Maritified, and it's great. It's like it's. Kind of, I've been referring to her as my wife since uh, since a while ago, anyways. Um, but yeah, I thought I would share this on this channel too because it's. I'm on this new adventure tip, and life is very exciting, and I'm seeing all these cool things, and I'm going to Paris uh, for a week after this for our honeymoon. So we are going to spend a lot more time together, and I'm going to make videos. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. I I, I always pause as if I have more to say and then I've said the thing that needs to be said. I did get choked up when saying my vows. Uh, I've never really been a kid who imagined a wedding in any sense. I think of me and my friends just didn't picture those kind of things I felt like growing up and when I was finally in it I was like this is extremely magical and then the artsy shot of me in the yard while the piano player was playing the up song and there was kids running through the yard chasing a dog and it was just like the you know the sun was coming down in the perfect way like right in the evening time I was like well, this is extremely magical. Perfect song. <laughs> I did a Q&A on my story the other day and somebody asked, uh, I'm kind of depressed. Any advice? <laughs> and obviously you can't just be like, you're depressed? I have all the solutions for you. You obviously have to know a lot of the background and what's going on. But the one thing that kind of helped me, especially because I'm someone who, I'm, I'm pretty prone to it, unfortunately. There are always experiences that you have not experienced, feelings you have not felt. And a lot of those feelings are worth not only sticking around for, but being excited for. And, and these things that have happened, these feelings I felt on this trip, are all new feelings that I would have been very sad not to feel. And even since then, just walking around in Normandy and seeing a new place and seeing new signs and new land was a new feeling. And that I didn't require getting married for that to happen. I think anyone could kind of end up in a situation where they're in a new country and they see this beautiful landscape and they go, 
this feels new and exciting and good. This video also kind of exists for my relatives to watch who want to see what I've been up to, how my wedding went, and uh, of course, hopefully Sarah's video is already up. I'll link it down below if you want to see the magical moments uh, beyond what I've shown in this video, but it's been great. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying this. I know this is a pretty left field video, but I think it's fun and uh, you know, this channel, at the end of the day, really does exist for me just to post kind of what I want to see as well, which I haven't been doing for a very long time, and I kind of miss uploading content that really makes me excited. Uh, so there's this video, and I'm going to make some videos in Paris because I'm excited to make Paris videos. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, stay tuned very soon for a new video. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.